you mentioned you've open sourced AlphaFold uh, and even the data involved. To me personally, also really happy and a big thank you for open sourcing Mijoko, uh, the physics simulation engine that's um, that's often used for robotics research and so on. So I think that's a pretty gangster move. Uh, so what, what what's the <laughs> what's I mean this uh, very few companies or people would do that kind of thing. What's the philosophy behind that? You know, it's a case by case basis. And in both those cases, we felt that was the maximum benefit to humanity to do that. And and the scientific community, in one case, the robotics uh, physics community with Majoko. So we purchased it. We purchased it source. for open to open. Yes, we purchased it for the express principle to open source it. So, <laughs> uh, um, <awesome>. so uh, <laughs> you know, people appreciate that. It's great to hear that, that yeah. you do. And then the second thing was, and mostly we did it because the person building it who's, uh, 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 would not, was not able to cope with support supporting it anymore because it was it got too big for for him his amazing professor uh who who built it in the first place so we helped him out with that and then with alpha folds even bigger i would say and i think in that case we decided that there were so many downstream applications of alpha fold um that we couldn't possibly even imagine what they all were so the best way to accelerate uh drug discovery and also fundamental research would be to to um give all that data away and 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 the and the and the system itself um you know it, it's been so gratifying to see what people have done that within just one year which is a short amount of time in science and uh it's been used by over 500,000 researchers have used it. We think that's almost every biologist in the world. I think there's roughly 500,000 biologists in the world, professional biologists, have used it to to look at their um, proteins of interest. Um, We've seen amazing fundamental research done. So uh, a couple of weeks ago, front cover, there was a whole special issue of science, including the front cover, which had the nuclear pore complex on it, which is one of the biggest proteins in the body. The nuclear pore complex is a protein that governs all the nutrients going in and out of your cell nucleus. So, so they're, they're like little whole gateways that open and close to let things go in and out of your cell nucleus. So they're really important, um, but they're huge because they're massive donut ring shaped things. And they've been looking to try and figure out that structure for decades. And they have lots of, you know, experimental data, but it's too low resolution. There's bits missing. And they were able to, like a giant Lego jigsaw puzzle, use AlphaFold predictions plus experimental data and combined those two independent sources of information. Uh, actually, four different groups around the world were able to put it together at the se- uh, more or less simultaneously using AlphaFold predictions. So that's been amazing to see. And pretty much every pharma company, every drug company executive I've spoken to has said that their teams are using AlphaFold to accelerate whatever drugs uh, uh, they're, they're trying to discover. So I think the knock-on effect has been I- enormous in terms of uh, uh, the impact that uh, AlphaFold has made. And it's probably bringing in, it's creating by biologists. It's bringing more people into the field, um, ba- both on the excitement and both on the technical skills involved. And in, um, it's almost like uh, a gateway drug to biology. Yes, it is. You and fall to get more love. computational people involved too, exactly. hopefully. And and I think for us, you know, the next stage, as I said, you know, in future, we have to have other considerations too. We're building on top of AlphaFold and these other ideas I discussed with you about protein-protein interactions and and genomics and other things. And not everything will be open source. Some of it will will do commercially because that will be the best way to actually get the most resources and impact behind it. In other ways, some other projects will do nonprofit style. Um, and also we have to consider for future things as well, safety and ethics as well, like, you know, synthetic biology, there are, you know, there is dual use and we have to think about that as well with AlphaFold. We, you know, we consulted with 30 different bioethicists and, and other people expert in this field to make sure it was safe before, um, we released it. So there'll be other considerations in future, but for right now, you know, I think AlphaFold is a a kind of a, a gift from us to, to, to the scientific community.